We have an amazing player for you guys today, a Brazilian wonder kid winger that can also play as a number 10 who doesn't come too pricey, comes with bags of potential and lots of ability right from the off. Is he going to be the next Neymar, the next Ronaldinho? Well, if you watch this video and watch how we develop this player, there's a very good chance in your save he might do exactly that. That's right, we have a Brazilian phenomenon in this episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar, the series where we take a player in Football Manager, check them out on the highest end of their potential range to see just how good they might become in your save. And this player does incredibly well. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button for us and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as we push for 175k subs. But you'll see we're in Brazil, we're going to the Brazilian divisions and to one of the most reputable sides in the nation. And that that is Flamengo. Now, just to let you guys know, I do not have the Brazilian divisions loaded or a huge database here. I think there's about 12,000 players in the database out of a possible 700,000 or so you can have, and this player is here. So in most of your saves, he should exist. It's not Everton Ribeiro. It's not Ayrton Lucas. It is their hot prospect, Loran, who is a 17-year-old Brazilian youngster who can play on the right or as a number 10. Now, there's a few things I want to point out about him before we move him over to to our Real Madrid team for testing. Firstly, let's talk about his potential range, which is 150 to 180, which is one of the best ranges you can get. It's one of the highest you can get in FM. And the reason it's so good is that even if this player in your save, when a dice is rolled, he gets the lowest possible potential of 150, 151, 152, he's still gonna be an elite level winger, more than worth the initial investment you'll have to pay to the Brazilian club. Now, if you get it on the higher end, you are going to get a world-class player, but Loran is gonna look a little bit different depending on your save because he is so young some of his attributes can fluctuate now when I have loaded up a few different saves I'm not sure whether this is just luck or whether it's randomness I've seen some saves where he's six foot some where he's five foot nine some where he's five ten you get the idea he is a bit of a random character in the game with these younger players sports interactive don't always know exactly everything about the player so they leave some things to random chance it's the same with his determination here his flair I've seen that vary a little bit from save to save so just bear that in mind but no matter what he is going to have that range of 150 to 180. So as long as he's got at least a little bit of determination, you'll be able to get a star out of his initial transfer fee, which is around 7 or 8 million, which might seem like a lot for a youngster. It's a decent sum, but to be honest, for the player that you're getting, it's really going to be worth it, even just within a few years, because straight away he'll start developing and reaching that potential, providing he gets some game time and the right development. But what is the right development? Let's move him to Real Madrid and show you. So using the editor, Loran is now a Real Madrid player and we're going to be using him on that right hand side. There's nothing wrong with using him in that number 10 position and I'm not saying inverted winger on the attack is his best role out of any role. It's just the one that I want to use him in for the simulation. But of course, judge what tactic you guys are playing, judge your team and see where he might fit in. For Rizzo, this is a very basic 4-3-3 Gagan press. Loran is being mentored through the training and the mentoring section by the likes of Modric, Nacho Fernandez and somebody else basically good personalities to rub off on him. He's currently got a balanced personality with a determination rating of 13, which isn't bad, but we could make that better. Now you'll see, even though we shouldn't judge his star ratings too much, that he is ranked as a five-star potential player, and his valuation is sitting at about 10 million since we've moved him over to our team, using the editor, like I say, for that 10 million fee. Now in terms of his training, for you guys, this is going to vary because of course, it's going to depend on what role you want him to play, but also what version of the you get. For you guys, like I said, some of these attributes are randomized. He could be a completely different player, but whatever role you're using, I would focus him in on that. And I know a lot of people don't like it when I always pick this additional focus, but final third is not a bad option for Loran. That will get his composure and his decision making up a little bit more. I would suggest there's a few other things you could do. For example, in our save, he has got 10 finishing, but 12 crossing. If you wanted to balance it out a little bit, we could work on his shooting. Alternatively, if he had good shooting in your save, but not as good crossing, you could flip that around and focus in on that crossing. What I think I'd go for though in Loran is actually his attacking movement to get that anticipation up here, which is currently sitting at a level of seven. You want him doing the right things. With a player like him, you have a choice, of course, of focusing in on those weaknesses or developing even further some of the strengths that he has. But I want him to be a more well-rounded talent, so that's what I'd go for. But as we do in every single simulation, we're going to leave that blank and see how he develops in a natural form. So with that being said, we're going to ask the assistants play as often as possible, holiday ahead and see how he looks in two to three years with Real Madrid. 
So the year is now 2026. Loran has been here for, I want to say, three seasons now at this point, and he is currently classed as a free star ability player. Again, don't judge his star ratings too much. They're being compared to other players in the team. So he is being compared to the likes of Bellingham, Vinicius, amongst many other great players. But Loran is certainly starting to stand out now on merit as his own player. He's valued at over 100 million pounds at the age of 20, capped for the Brazil under 23 team, and his current ability rating is sitting at 158 so this is him towards the lowest end of that potential range and look how good he is already five foot nine left-footed winger with 17 acceleration 17 pace and 16 agility he's also quite strong with good natural fitness he can pass he's got good vision and technique even if he isn't the best passer that's definitely going to do him some good on that right hand side he's got 13 finishing 16 first touch and 16 dribbling combined with great crossing ability as well as decision making off the ball work and flair all at a very high level. Remember, he's only been here for a few years developing, but to be honest, he stood out straight away in our first 11. In season one, he came right into our team and got 13 goals and 16 assists. As you can see, none of these were penalties. We are still using the same basic tactic with no special instructions or anything like that, and Loran is firing on all cylinders. The season after, eight goals, 11 assists. The one after that, five goals and 16 assists. Nowhere near as good as his first season, mind you, but still some very impressive years in a Real Madrid shirt. Of course, though, this is only him on the lowest end of that potential range, so let's see how he can look in his prime. As we simulate ahead with Loran, I just want to take a second, don't worry, I won't be too long, to let you guys know that I do have my own channel, which you can find linked in the description down below, or Football Manager Base, so if you like what you see on FM Scout, I'm sure you'd enjoy that too, and we are getting really, really, really close now to 30k subs, which has been my target for a while, so anyone that could come over, show your support, check the videos out, I'd really appreciate it. We do YouTube shorts about wonder kids you might not have heard of, as well as some Football Manager rebuilds, so if that sounds interesting, come and check it out, but let's Let's check out how Loran looks now at full growth. And here he is in 2033. And he is now, I mean, just an incredible, incredible player. According to the star ratings, he is one of the best, if not the best player at the club now. He can play as a number 10 or out wide, suggesting actually that he'd be a very good advanced playmaker, shadow striker. If we were to highlight the attributes for that role, it is definitely the case that he would be good in those areas with 13 finishing, 17 dribbling and first touch. That's going to make him deadly in front of goal of course we've been playing him out wide as that inverted winger and there he's making use of his 15 crossing his great pace and agility his passing vision technique this guy has got the lot the mental attributes he's really standing out with great flair even leadership now decision making anticipation composure and of course that 18 vision and in game it has led to some incredible incredible performances after you last saw him he has been hitting pretty much 25 goal contributions a season if not more and in his most recent year he hit four 40 goal contributions in 38 games. He's also had 34 appearances for Brazil with nine goals at the age of 27, still valued at over 100 million pounds. So that 10 million pound investment really looks like it was cheap as chips now. But of course, he's only 27 here. So let's see him at the end of his career. And at the age of 35, he is very close to retirement with 28 goals in 90 Brazil appearances. A legendary attacking midfielder with some incredible attributes. He really could still do it at the highest level here, even though he is a free agent. He spent years with us doing incredibly well in La Liga before moving on to the Saudi Arabian divisions for his big paycheck where he's cashed in with some great performances. But I want to show you something else with Loran. And that is that he didn't actually retire a few years later. In 2043, he is now a manager of Palmerias where he's been doing very well. He's won two cups, one league title and I think he's going to go on to be one of the world's best, if not the world's best manager with some of these attributes getting to a very high level and he's only 37. I mean, this guy has got a lot of potential as a coach, which we don't normally see. And I can confirm 10 years on from where we started the simulation, at the age of 27, Loran picked up the Ballon d'Or in 2033 with 24 goals and 28 assists in 49 appearances, way ahead of his two competitors. If you're looking for a winger in your save, he could be the one to go for. Is he the next Ronaldinho, the next Vinicius, the next Neymar? Who knows? But Loran is a player with a lot of potential worth checking out in your save.